Do you girls mind if I sit with you? Uh, uh. With that outfit? Yeah, we mind. Heather, I am so, so sorry. There's no money on your account. Oh, I have to take this, but you can have this free lunch, okay? <laughs> oh my god! How embarrassing. Your family's so poor, you have to eat that nasty free meal. I could never. How sad. Ugh. Well, um, it's not that bad. Well, we get our lunches made by our family's personal chefs. <laughs> Happy free meal, homeless Heather. <laughs> homeless Heather! <laughs> Aw, did you drop your nickel? Can you please get off of it? I need it for the bus. Ew, I can't believe you're so broke you have to take public transportation. <laughs> That's disgusting. So gross. See that car over there? That's my mom's brand new Tesla. And that's just one of our cars. That's good for you, Becky. I'd offer you a ride, but I wouldn't want to dirty up the car having you in it. <laughs> Becky, let's go, honey! Gotta go. My mom's taking me shopping at Gucci. Have fun riding the bus. shop at the thrift store. Well, yeah, I had to buy some new clothes for school. That is so gross. First you eat the nasty school lunch, then you ride the bus, and now you buy other people's used clothes. Ugh, gosh, how poor are you? Becky, I can't believe you just said that to her. What? I'm just telling the truth, Mom. You should never make fun of other people. Who cares? It's just homeless Heather. Everyone makes fun of her. How would you feel if someone made fun of you? You shouldn't judge people until you've walked in their shoes. Well, luckily, we're rich, and I won't ever have to worry about that. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong. You may come from a family with money, but that is not how we treat other people. Starting tomorrow, no more catered lunches. You can have the school lunch. No more Tesla pickups. You can catch the bus. And no more designer shopping. You can shop at the thrift store. But, but Mom, no, you can't do that. You have no choice, young lady. Becky can't believe what just happened. The next day, Becky doesn't have the chef-made food she usually eats. When she tries to sit down at the table with her friends, they make fun of her and don't even let her sit with them. Becky is devastated. And after school, Becky's mom doesn't pick her up in the Tesla. Instead, she has to wait for the bus. Her friends happen to walk by and tease her. Becky is so humiliated. And finally, Becky isn't able to shop at the designer store. Now she has to shop at the thrift store. Her friends see her as she walks out and laugh at her. She's so embarrassed and runs away in tears. After a while, Becky starts to understand what it feels like to get made fun of for not having much. <laughs> Enjoy your free lunch, broke Becky. Let's go. We wouldn't want anyone thinking we're friends with someone like her. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll sit with you. Heather? But why are you being nice to me? Because I know how it feels when people are mean to you. Look, I'm really sorry for making fun of you all those times. I was wrong. I, 
guess you never really know what someone's going through unless you experience it yourself. Can you please forgive me? Of course. <laughs> hey, do you think we could maybe catch the bus and go thrift shopping together later? Yeah, I like that. Can you throw it back? Amber! And then I have a pink rock. Why I mean, who is she even talking to? I don't know. Amber. She's been acting so I'm weird lately. <sighs> hey! I was just asking you, Keith, though. Ew! Why do you smell so bad? Do you not shower? Can you leave us alone, please? Us? Who was us? Me and my friend, Leah. Hey guys, Amber didn't hear me because she was too busy talking to her imaginary friend. <laughs> Dennis! Let's go, honey. All right. You really need to go take a shower. Ugh. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Catch! Hey. Hey. Who's that girl? Um, that's Amber. Just ignore her. She's a weirdo. Dennis! You shouldn't talk about people like that. I'm gonna see if she needs a ride. No! I don't wanna be seen with her. Besides, she was just telling me how her mom's gonna be here any minute. All right. You say so. So, what should we do this weekend? I mean, Call of Duty Vanguard just came out. Do you think your mom would buy it so we can play? Of course. She always gives me what I want. <sighs> Look, here comes Amber. Wanna sit over there? I was wondering where that nasty smell was coming from. Come here, sit down. Looks like she's talking to her imaginary friend. Again. That's sad. <laughs> Watch this. Half for you, half for me. Next time, on the I, I thought I told you to go take a shower. What'd you put the sandwich here for? Don't touch that. That's Leah's lunch. What are you, five years old? I hate to be the one to break it to you. But Leah isn't real. Yeah, she is. So please give her back her sandwich. Oh, this sandwich? Stop it, that's not yours. Here you go, Leah, you can have some more of mine. Let me ask you something. Do you think Leah is sitting in this chair right now? Yeah, why? Then explain me being able to do this. <gasps> Stop it, you're squishing her. Oh, I'm so sorry, Leah. I didn't mean to hurt you or Punch you. Don't do that, you're hurting her. Oh, grow up. You're the only kid in middle school that believes in imaginary friends. Have a good lunch, weirdo. Leah! Hey, Mom, a new video game just came out. Do you think I can get it? Yeah, honey, sure. <laughs> yes, you're the best. <laughs> hey, isn't that that girl from yesterday, Amber? Um, yeah, I think so. What are you doing? I'm gonna see if she needs a ride. The poor girl is walking on by herself. No, don't do that, she smells. You better stop that right now. I didn't raise you to be like this. Uh. Hi. Amber, right? Um, yes. Are you walking home all by yourself? No, I've got my friend Leah with me. See? I told you to just ignore her. Would you and Leah like a ride? Um, no thanks. We're good. Are you sure? Um, yes. Thank you. Mom! Where are you going? Sweetheart. <laughs> It's so cold out, and it gets dark early these days. At least let me take you home. Uh, and Leah can come too if you like. Please? What do you say? She says she'd love to take a ride. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, come on, hop in. There you go.
All right. Just tell me where to turn. Make a right at the next stop. You got it. <sighs> you can drop us off over here. Here? Yes, please. OK. Thanks again. Lee also says that she appreciates it. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you positive you want to get dropped off here? I don't see any housing around. Yes, thank you. Have a nice day. OK. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, about time. I thought I was going to bang. I feel bad for her. Why? She probably. Where are you going now? I'll be back. No! I want to go home and play video games. Mom! Oh! Oh, child. Please, do not tell me that you sleep here. Oh. Amber, honey, you can talk to me. Please. Do you not have a home to go to? I do. It's just that I don't want to go there anymore. Why not? Well, you see, my mom passed away just after I was born. I never even got a chance to get to know her. And my dad, he isn't exactly the best father. Every night, he comes home drunk. If I try to tell him anything at all, he gets really mad at me. Whenever he drinks too much, he comes to my room and he hits me. Even when he begs me to stop, he just keeps going. So you see, that's why I ran away from home. Also, why I wear this? To cover up my bruises. I... I can't believe you're going through all that. I feel so bad for how I treated you. I'm so sorry, Amber. It's all right. Now you know why I can't shower. Sweetheart, why didn't you tell anybody about this? I don't know. I know my dad has a lot of problems, but I still love him. And I don't want him to get into any trouble. That's why the only person I talk to is... Leah. So please, don't tell anyone. Well, we'll talk about that later, okay? But only on one condition. What is it? Come and you stay with us. I can't have you sleeping out here like this. Really? Yeah. But I can't leave Leah. That's all right. You can bring her too. What do you say, Leah? She says she'd love to come. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get going. <laughs> Hey, you don't smell bad anymore. Agreed. Wanna play? Yeah, but why can't I just use the other controller so we can both play together? Oh, Leo's using that one. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so how do you play? Hey guys, why don't you come and eat dinner first and play games after? <laughs> that sounds good to me. Come on, Leo. Beat ya. Beat ya. Hey, how was school? It was cool. Great, we planted sunflower seeds. Oh, now that's exciting news. <laughs> well, before we go, I have a little surprise for you. Really, you do? Yeah, open it up. You're adopting me? Really? Yes! I met with your father, and we both agreed this is the best thing for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, that's not the only thing. Thank you! <laughs> Want to go?
go home and play some Vanguard, sis? I'd love to. Bro. All right, let's go home. <laughs> That's a fresh hoodie, man. Yeah, thanks, bro. I ordered that backpack, but it hasn't come in yet. Yeah, mine just came yes. Yo, 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 yo. Check out what Eric's wearing. Let's go. Hey, Eric. Isn't that the same hoodie you wore last year? Um, yeah. Aw, oh, man, I'd be so embarrassed coming to school in last year's clothes. Yo, how would he even come? <laughs> even has holes in it. <laughs> Guys, it gets worse. Look at his shoes, bro. <laughs> those are busted. Where'd you even get those from? <laughs> the dumpster. <laughs> Why well, I think? It's been a while. <laughs> $10 at the most. <laughs> I wanted to get those edge runners, but my mom says I'm still growing up, so. It's a waste of money. I don't understand. She can't afford to get you a single pair of new shoes. <laughs> or a new hoodie. <laughs> Wait, she got me this new backpack. <laughs> oh my god. Well, kind of new. It's from a thrift store. Bruh, Pokemon. Ah, <laughs> oh, he can't be serious. What's wrong with Pokemon? Nothing if you're seven years old. Grow up. No, bro. My little brother is seven. He won't even wear Pokemon. <laughs> it's not being cool years ago. That? Makes it even more pathetic. It's not like I don't want new stuff. Things at home have just been... I gotta go. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda feel bad for him. Me too. Anyway, we still going to Legoland next weekend? My mom's gonna buy the tickets tonight. Yeah, my dad said it was cool, so I'm good. <laughs> my mom said she'll give me her card, so I'm all right too. That'll be 549. I, I have a coupon here. Four forty-nine. Mom, can I get this backpack? Please? Honey, I just bought you a new backpack. No one wears Pokemon anymore. Kids at school were making fun of me. What did they say? I don't want to talk about it. It's not important right now. The point is. I want this one. C can you please get it for me? Honey, I'm sorry, but you know the situation right now. Maybe next year. Ugh, this sucks! <sighs> sorry. <laughs> there you go. No, we're gonna hit up here first. Hey, isn't that Eric? <laughs> yeah, it is. He seems upset. I hope everything's okay. Well, if I had on his outfit, I'd be upset too. Blake, how could you? Kathy, hi. How are you? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Blake. Hi. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing all right, thanks. Well, that's good. Um, I saw Eric walk by. He seemed a little stressed. Yeah. Um... Some kids are making fun of him at school for his backpack. <laughs> That's terrible. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. He didn't say. You know, in situations like these, sometimes the easiest thing to do is <laughs> just to get him a new backpack. Yeah, if it, if it were that easy. What do you mean? Um, I know I said I was all right earlier. But the truth is, things aren't going so well. You see, as a single mom, it hasn't always been easy for me to buy Eric everything he wants. But no matter how hard it got, I always found a way to make him happy. That is, until recently. My boss came into my office and said business had been really slow lately, so after 14 years, she was shutting things down. I was let go on the spot without severance or anything. With the unemployment income I get, I'm barely able to afford our apartment. It's Heartbreaking not to be able to get my son what he wants. 
But for now, I don't have a choice. So you see, if I don't get a new job, I can't buy Eric something new. I'm so sorry, Kathy. I had no idea you were going through all of that. Thanks. I apologize for getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to rush, but uh, I, I don't want to leave Eric by himself, so. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay? Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye. 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 Oh, gosh. I feel so bad for them. Yeah. I can't believe what they're going through. <sighs> okay, well, let's go get you that outfit for Legoland. Actually, Mom, can I use my allowance to buy something else? Um, sure. What did you want to buy? Something much more important. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever change your clothes, Eric? You just wear the same thing every day. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that to school. Eric, got a sec? Sure, I guess. What's up? Hey, bro. I got you a little something. Seriously? A new diamond hoodie? And here are the Jordans you wanted. Really? These are for me? I tried my best guessing your size, but if they don't fit, we can always exchange them. Also, I got you in a backpack. I was gonna wear it, but you need it more than I do. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. I, I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. We're just really sorry for how we treated you yesterday. Going forward. We've got your back. And we'll be there if anyone ever picks on you. Thanks, guys. This means so much to me. <laughs> By the way, you like Legoland? Yeah, but I've never been there before. I've always wanted to go. Why? Because I used my allowance to buy you a ticket. So you can come with us. What? This is so crazy. Hey, let's talk about it over lunch. You want to come in with us? Sure, but do you guys mind if I put all this stuff on real quick? Sure, but hurry it up, I'm hungry. Hi guys. <laughs> How was Legoland? It was so much fun, and look, Blake's mom got his Lego shirts. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again for everything. This has meant so much to Eric. <laughs> it's no problem, really. By the way, I spoke with my husband, and we would love to hire you at our company. We just had a managerial position open up. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know what to say. Say yes, Mom. Okay, honey. <laughs> this is gonna change our lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> The Halloween costume contest is tonight. Are you entering? No, I don't have enough money for a costume. You don't need money. You could just make a costume like me. I'm gonna be a hot air balloon and- Hey! You got my jacket wet, Beth. I'm so sorry, Vicky. I didn't mean to. Do you know how expensive this is? This is a $300 designer jacket that my dad got me. What am I talking about? You're obviously too poor to know that. Don't let her get to you. Anyways, you're saying that you're gonna be a hot air balloon? Yeah. I just need to find it. Wait! That bag. Can I have it, please? I need it for the costume I'm making for tonight's contest. You want my trash? Ew! You really think you're gonna win the contest with some trash made costume? Well, my dad always says, it isn't about how much you have. It's about what you make out of what you have. <laughs> Sounds like something a poor person would say. You really want this? You can get it off the garbage. 
Beth the Bum. Well, got the first part of what I need. Beth the Bum herself. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I just picked up something I needed for my costume. Don't tell me you shop at the dollar store. Well, I was able to get these balloons for a dollar that I need for the- <laughs> You spent a dollar on your costume? How sad. Check out the new costume my dad got me. It cost $200. Wow, that's really nice. Anyways, I'm gonna win tonight's contest, so you may as well not even waste your time. Maybe it's not too late to return your balloons and get your dollar back. I'm sure you need it. Hey, honey. Don't tell me that's your dad's car. Yeah? Why? Now it makes sense why you shop at the dollar store. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Check out my dad's ride. It's the new Royce Royce. It costs $300,000. Well, that's great for you, Vicky. Hey, honey. I found this cardboard box in a recycle bin. I thought maybe you could use it for your costume. <laughs> oh, wow. This just keeps getting better. Good luck on trying to win the contest, Beth the Bum. Is that about everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. And it's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> wow! That's an amazing costume. Thanks. Yeah, you're definitely gonna win. With all the money I've spent, I'd be better. everyone now for the moment we've all been waiting for the winner of the 10th annual Halloween costume contest is Beth the hot air balloon only to lose to some costume made out of trash. This isn't fair! You made your costume out of trash? But how? Well, my family doesn't have a lot of money, so I had to be a little creative. You see, I asked students to give me their lunch bags that they're going to throw away for my sandbags. My dad found me a cardboard box that I colored on with a marker to use as my basket. And I bought the balloons from the 99 cent store for under a dollar. Wow. That's incredible. How'd you learn how to do all that? Well, a wise man once told me, it isn't about how much you have. It's about what you make out of what you have. You know what? This is ridiculous. Come on, let's go. Congratulations. You sweetheart. My check engine light is on. Guaranteed I'm gonna stick her for at least five grand. Look, I've always believed in helping people. Very serious. I actually know a lot about cars. Trust the experts, sweetheart. 
pull it in and I'll take a look at it. 